tell me what to say. Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of Serious Nibbage with Esbiary Brown and Gourmet Pens. Gourmet Pens. Gourmet Pens. I'm just ignoring you while this happens. Gourmet Pens. Gourmet Pens. Today we'll have a look at. Do, 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 do. The Visconti Hall of Music. Are you done moaning? No, I was kind of whispering at it. Okay, what are your first impressions? Or shall I start? Yeah, you start. My first impressions like, were... <laughs> okay, there was a box. Uh, well, I'm going to hold the pen while he opens the box. Yeah, alright. Uh, it's uh, one of those Visconti boxes, not the you have bought a super expensive and now your bank account is depleted Visconti boxes, but more one more of like the, a medium expensive. Like Visconti. You have bought a pretty nice Visconti that should come in a decent. And box. you will you will not eat for a week or two. Uh, this is, is one this of the, the most disgusting smelling boxes. Yeah, it's a really like I like really weird, weird smells. Yeah, I do not know cool. what that smells like. That's pretty or weird. Why it's it's bad. But, like, if you Ignoring think a noodler that, smells bad, this is way worse. Yeah, anyway. it's like a rancid noodler's. Um, so, then we have the pen. Now, the pen, there is nothing really new on the pen that we haven't seen before, because I have Except for the color. A Michelangelo that has this body, uh, the, the new... Van Gogh. Uh, the Van Gogh. Van Gogh models have this body. Uh, the Salvador Dali regular had this uh, body, so we have definitely seen the body. It's the body with the magnetic clip. Which is a gimmicky, funny thing that you can do all day until the magnet pops off, which does happen, and and um, you know that's that's uh, that's kind of it. So it's it's faceted, and now of course what Visconti did was they they threw together a bunch of new what? finishes. First impressions. Uh, yeah, well, and you know that's nice. So the um, <laughs> my first impressions were I have seen the pen body before. There were some minor alterations, um, but it's a nice model I mean it's it's not super big it's a, it's a pleasant everyday writer I would say so my first impressions were all right what about yours? I thought that was the first impressions the box smells really weird um, I think we've covered that yeah I, I like their burlwood boxes burlwood boxes better because I actually can use those for other things this one I'm not sure about but anyway um, I thought... Did we say that uh, Joost Applebaum sent us this? I don't know, you started, you're oh, the entrance. Well, Joost Applebaum from Applebaum Pen sent us this pen. Lent us. Yeah, lent us, this, sorry, lent us this pen to review. It's going back to him, uh, just so we know. So, thank you, Joost. Sorry, go ahead. First impressions. Um, I just uh, distracted. I Run think away. this is really pretty. The So, my first impressions have, were, were really positive in terms of just looking at it, because the color... Anyway, you can kind of see it. it. This is the Burgundy Jazz, and I I was super excited about the color. I really like pen bodies that are kind of slightly faceted like this. And they are faceted, but not like hardcore facets. They're not really sharp. Um, so I really, I really love the color. So first impressions, very excited. And also, I mean, ignoring the details of the pen, but I just looked at the color, the appearance, and that the nib was a broad palladium. I was very excited to try it out. Yeah? Yes. What makes it special? Um, this is... I guess it's kind of new from Visconti um, because it's their Hall of Music, but like he said, it's re reusing the same uh, model? Yeah, 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 same model. It's just a different color. And there are some musical touches to it, but we can cover that in detail. But I think that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's music theme, so they have a bunch of finishes. This is yeah. the jazz. There's a classic, and, uh, there's a rock, a rap. Um, and some other stuff. Yeah, there's quite a few. I think there's six of them? That's a dubstep. Oh my gosh. Maybe not. Uh, what is your writing experience like? Well, look, you're the Visconti fanboy. Why don't you talk about your writing experience? Uh, yeah, well, the writing experience was a bit of an issue. This is the pen with the palladium nib upgrade, and this is definitely not the, the greatest palladium nib I've used. I, I have to admit that. Uh, it was uh, pretty skippy. It railroaded quite a bit with even fairly light pressure, even though these palladium nibs are supposed to be a bit springy, I wouldn't really call them semi-flex, but a bit springy, and they just didn't work so well. So uh, the, the the performance of this particular nib unit, I'm not saying that it ha applies to all nibs, but 
We do know that Visconti has has definitely had some issues with nib quality control recently. Um, was not that impressive. So writing experience was not that great. Okay. What uh, about you? I I do agree with you. I found that with normal writing, it uh, it was also skipping, hard starting, and what I do tend to find with Visconti nibs is that if you hold them at a kind of a funny angle, like like really high to the page, they write better. So I did half of my writing sample like this, and I just did that because I was just writing that way. Sometimes I write weird. And it was super springy, very pleasant, the flow was good, and then as soon as I switched over halfway through, you could check out my writing sample for this. It, uh, like, so I kind of lowered the angle a bit, and at this angle, it was just terrible. I couldn't get it to flow consistently, and uh, it was skipping, like, halfway through a letter, or it would just not work at all, so it was just hard starting. And, and it's not because we didn't flush it or anything, it wasn't the ink, it's, um, I mean, this is not, this is not uncommon with Visconti nibs. So, I, um... Yeah, the writing experience was a bit of a disappointment because I really do like these palladium nibs because yeah, when yeah, they yeah. work, they're they are really very, lovely. Very nice. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what you can say is that if you have issues with your nib and you buy it from a reputable retailer and like not from like Joe Schmo on eBay or something, you you can at least have it taken care of. Send it back, send it back to the retailer, have them fix it for you. Um but anyway, that so yeah, that was not. I wasn't too thrilled about that. Uh, but you know, size wise, in terms of like comfort in the writing experience when it was writing, really nice. I, I think it's a, a nice, comfy pen. So, what what do you. You love this, Gonti. What do you love? Well, I think this is a nice model. Uh, it's. I, I can't say it's inexpensive because it's not. No, but, but it is in, really pretty. I mean, and in, look at that. You know, super nice. Relatively speaking, as Visconti's go, some range range fiber to the thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. I, I think this is not their most expensive model, and I do think you get a a very decent pen body for it. It's it's well made. The facets work. They make it look a little. Well, less cheap because it has a little bit of a pattern to it. Yeah. Material is nice. It also nice. catches the light yeah, nicely. Yeah, exactly. It, it's it's a nice model. I like. I know not everyone likes it, but I like this um, Ponte Vecchio clip. Um, the the magnetic clap. Uh, sorry, the magnetic cap closure. Uh, that that works. I, there have been reports of rusting, not necessarily on this model, but on the uh, I think the the Vahoch, uh, models. Um, and I've experienced that too with a Rembrandt at some point that, that you know I uh, had to get fixed and all that. So th there are definitely some some potential issues that can go wrong with this, but for what you pay, I think you get a nice pen model. So that's something I would like about it. Mm -hmm. What I don't like about it is that they remain. Of what, what I, I should say, what remains is those nib issues. They really need to straighten that out because this is becoming embarrassing. At some point, when you when you keep having nibs that you need to send back, and we've heard this from all kinds of sources, other people, even retailers, uh, th that's a problem. It's a problem. These nibs need to write, uh, and that that is really something that I really think they need to get fixed. Apart from that, I you know about this specific pen. Uh, I understand you're buying a pen called Hall of Music. I am not you sure. Hold this up so yeah. you can... I I am not sure if this sort of I don't know if it's laser engraved. I think it's I laser think it is uh, music notes on the center band. I don't know if that's the most successful thing ever. Nor is this this key uh, here, I, I, yeah, I don't know. That, for me, that, that doesn't really work, but if you're a music lover, then maybe that, well, I'm, you know, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not a music lover, but if you, if you play an instrument or something, I can see how that might appeal to you more. What about you? What do you love about it? Um, I, I think it's a very, like you said, a very nice model. I really like the facets. It really captures light really well. Um, I think the, the use of the trim is well done. Um, I think this is a beautiful finish. It's the the jazz is burgundy, 
but it is um, like a burgundy but with a bit of red and some some gold in there but it also has gold and like rainbowy green shimmery uh, what are they called uh, particles like dust so uh, it's it's really a very pretty model yeah. and um, I, I really like that it is I also I really like the cap I I can understand that you know it something might wear out with the, the mechanism it might fall out I don't know how it's held in place there glue super glue um, but I, I enjoy this I, I think that's really nice and first it's satisfying but it's also very easy to use uh, what I don't like well the nib um, the nib the palladium nib upgrade is like 120 euros and that's quite a lot. That's a lot for... Especially if you don't get a nib that doesn't write. Yeah. Or doesn't write. I mean, it's not that it doesn't write, but it doesn't write as perfectly as you should it expect. It doesn't perform I should probably well. say that. Yeah. It's not that... I mean, it writes. You can write sentences. It's not that it, that it, you know, it, it, it skips. It doesn't start. It, it just refuses to write. We've also experienced that in pens. It does write, but not as good as it should. As well as it should. Sorry. Um, yeah. So, there is... <coughs> sorry. There's the nib. Uh, like he says about, th this is called the Hall of Music, so yeah, there are laser engraved notes and it says jazz on the, um, on the center band and on the section there's a, a kind of like a, a thicker band that's a bit raised and it also has tiny little laser engraved notes. Oh, they, were cons they were consistent. There's and and the treble clef with. here. I... I'm not entirely sure about the laser engraving. I know it's a hall of music. I understand that there's music notes. I, I love music. I'm, I'm also a musically inclined person. But I, I'm not sure. I mean, but also, what if, you, what if you hate jazz, but you love the burgundy? Then you're stuck with a burgundy that says jazz on it. Right? Yes. Anyway, really nitpicking. There are, if you like the, 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 the model, you can always go into the uh, the Van Gogh series and, and get some there. It has a lot there. of different colors, right? Yeah, so I mean, it's not like there's a shortage of options. But for me, I feel like this one is... it's beautiful. I, I really, really love this material, but some of the details just don't work. And the the clip, usually the little Visconti written in there is, is um, hand enamel. enameled. And this one is not. No, again, that also looks like a laser engraving. I mean, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a laser engraving. Let's see if we can... I mean, you know, it's not the end of the world. But it's just a small detail. And, I mean, if you associate Visconti pens with, with, with a luxury writing instrument... Yeah, I kinda... don't know if this is it, then. Yeah, I, I don't know if this is it. I don't know if this, this meets that criterion. I, um... But... I, for me, the, the prettiness of the finish kind of overrides all that. So, I mean, that is really nitpicking. I mean, I'm sure most people aren't going to sit there and be like, Oh, yes, my clip is laser engraved, you know. And if you do, that's fine, but that's, you know, that's your thing. Would you buy it? So, the pen retails for 220 euros. That is with that. So, it's, I think, like 180 without or something. Um, the palladium nib upgrade is... What was it? 120? 120, 120 yes, right? yes, 120. So you're looking at a substantial amount, and um, I, as a music lover, more so than an art lover, I personally would would probably pick this over the the Van Gogh series. Although it depends on the model, like or, or the color, because. I really, really love this burgundy finish. Like the 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 glitter in it is just really cool. It's not like unicorn, uh, twilight, diamond, sparkling vampire glitter. It's just really, it's it's really pretty. So, um, yeah, would I buy it? It's <sighs> a good question. Having used this nib, I'm really annoyed so out of annoyance I would say no but out of vanity I would say yes so I don't know what do you think 
I wouldn't buy it. All right, fair enough. The reason I would not buy it is the, the finish is definitely pretty. I like the sparkling stuff too. It's 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 well done. Yeah, it is really um, pretty. But you can also find a really nice Van Gogh that doesn't have, you know, the, the, the odd music notes. Yeah. It, it, just, yeah, it just doesn't work. The laser engraving. It, it's not as attractive. There's also an error in it. So let's see if I could show this to you. Um, there is. There's like a random dot. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. Look, it's very minor. Super insignificant. Yeah, but I mean, if you're really, if you're really going to spend this pen, you have to love everything about it. I think so. What we're trying to do is, is break down the details too, which, which is. You know. I think the main issues with this pen are very minor details like that. Yeah, and, they can and the fact that the nib doesn't really work. Yeah, that's a big. So issue. that is a not bigger a issue. Is um, it serious nib? All right, let's show the meter. If you are new to Sirius Nibbage, this is the Sirius Nibbage meter. Not serious. Very serious. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is not an exact science, so we are just kind of gonna like go on our feelings. I think the main thing this thing has going for it is that it's pretty. It's a nibble meter. I'm not doing it. Ah! It's pretty. Right? Do you think? It is pretty, yeah. It's a very pretty pen. <coughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't really write, and I'm not so keen on the details, like the, the you know, the note, yeah. the engravings, the laser. So, I'm going to leave it around here. No, it's I like semi-serious, yeah, but for not me, super serious. But when the nib did, when I did have it working at the uh, that really high angle, it was super pleasant. Yeah, that's the problem. Palladium nibs, when they write well, they're absolutely divine to use. But when they don't, it's a horror. So I, I would, yeah, to me, this is not serious nib. Now, if you're in the market, let's say we're not even talking about palladium upgrade. 220 euros. What else could you buy? You could buy a Lamy uh, 2000. Yeah, yeah. Which would get you a piston filler. Very modern also design. a gold nib. Of course, you could also have a look at one of the, the Van Gogh models. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. The the Visconti Rembrandt, the calligraphy set, I think, is around that price, which I, I'm not absolutely sure. Which but is a more round model, but. But you get a, cool. you know you get a round nib and an italic nib and a flexi nib, so that's you know that's a yeah. pretty decent set. Yeah, but you can also look at other brands. I think Lamy 2000 is a good option. Um, M three hundred, yeah, which is the, the very small one, the, I think. The lower and M four hundred, you might be getting up into with the upgrade of the nib. So for ignoring that, yeah. Um, then you have piston fillers. Yeah, nice. there's still there's still so a there's fair amount of options. options. Lamy yeah. Studio, yeah. Yeah. the Dialog. That's three hundred, right? Uh, am I boring you? No. Um. Not at all. Yeah. So yeah. interesting pen. But yeah. I'm just staring at it and it's so pretty. Like it's really, the, the, the material, their nibs drive me insane when they don't work, but they make really neat pens. Like the, the, the materials they use and stuff are really lovely. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's all. I'm just rambling now, so I'm gonna go. Mercy clouds are white, skies are blue. Jazz. I don't know if that was either, uh, was his name Louis Armstrong or Yoda, but anyway, you know what, <laughs> well, uh, glad to see you later. Thank you, thank you to Applebaum for lending us this pen, and if you would like one, you can click on one of our banners on our website, and you can of go course. over to Applebaum for a 10% discount, it does not apply in Mont Blanc, which is Mont Blanc's rules. But we're not talking about Mont Blanc. True, and we did not get a commission or anything, it's just no. a helpful reference, yeah. and he knows that, oh yeah, they're not complete wastes, you know? Yeah, which most people seem to think. Yeah. So that's uh That's us in a nutshell. Hope Do you jazz? <laughs> no, I'm not I'm saying good. that. I'm not saying that anymore. I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.